Hello, this is Kazem Adavi. I'm an instructor of a Sager Educational Group. In this video, we will simulate moisture transport using console multiphysics. Do not forget to subscribe our channel and in the case that you need help for your console simulations, you can contact us using this contact information. For simulation of uh, moisture transport using console multiphysics after drawing the geometry, uh, we need to like define the velocity uh, profile in the model. Uh, before uh, starting, we have water in one channel and air in another channel, and then the moisture would be transported from the water to air. So the, the humidity of water uh, air would be increased uh, along, south, uh, along side of uh, channels or channel. Uh, for the inlet, we have like uh, for the laminar flow, we define laminar flow module for all these parts. So we have one inlet here and there was a specific flow rate and the outlet of the channel that is here with pressure equal to atmosphere pressure. Uh, it's a pros medium that we defined here with a specific prosity and permeability. And it's the properties, fluid properties of uh, of uh, materials that we have. So we have air and water. So we defined them already here for different sections. For the moist for moisture transport module, uh, we have like a, a wet uh, uh, kind of uh, outflow in this section. Isolation for other sections and like a wet surface that like is not com it's completely uh, deactivated because we defined other boundary conditions and it's moisture content in the inlet that is uh, equal to zero relative humidity and it's moisture source that is the flow rate of uh, water that is going to be transported from water part to to channel of to air channel and it's like a building material that we have is uh, the diffusion the diffusivity uh, like uh, like uh, of moisture inside the inside the channel so after defining these parameters, but uh, you can define like uh, thermodynamic calculations uh, and putting these values inside this uh, your, inside your model, and then calculation of most your sources based on heat transfer that you have in your system. Since heat transfer is not considered in this model, we consider temperature constant, so we can uh, use a constant value that uh, that we we wanted to simulate and work with. But in real work, real like uh, examples, it's better to consider thermodynamic evaporation uh, in your in your model. After after running the model using a stationary uh, type of a study, uh, you would have the velocity profile, pressure uh, pressure profile, and relative humidity that you can. It increases a line side of tube. Do not forget to subscribe our channel and good luck.